Hey there, are you guys ready to hear our big surprise? If you are new here, my name is Michaela, and this is the Calico and the Cow. I'm currently sitting outside of our camper right now. If you would like our little backstory of the last six months or so, I would watch my video from two weeks ago, two videos ago. We are in South Carolina right now. I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes out here. So last Friday, I mentioned on my Instagram that we have a surprise and it's a really big surprise to share with everybody and this is this is that surprise so get ready buckle up <laughs> quick re recap of the last video two videos ago we just moved to south carolina charleston area south carolina about three months ago we moved here at like the very end of may and we found out we were moving here about five or six weeks before we actually did. So we packed up a camper, bought a camper, sold our house, packed up and headed on our way and we've been staying at this campground pretty much ever since. When I mentioned on Instagram that we had a big surprise, a lot of people know we've been house hunting. Haven't had much success with it, it's been really difficult. A lot of people, I put a question box on there and a lot of people guessed that we got a house and Although that wasn't a surprise, we're still house hunting. Um, we've been house hunting up until this point. And the other guesses were that we were having a baby and that is just not in the cards right now. We have too much other stuff we wanna do before that. We just have a lot to do. I have a lot of gardening to do first. Also want to say sorry to everyone who voted on the poll <laughs> saying they wanna see a tour of the camper. We've had so much going on with this new surprise thing that I haven't even had a chance to like keep up on dishes or maintain the camper at all and like it's an absolute disaster. It looks like a bomb went off in there. So you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer for that because I need to be able to clean everything up first. Also I'm sitting outside and we're at a campground and it's a large campground so if you hear the creepy ice cream truck music or somebody building something like a few spots down, I apologize. Okay, let's get to the surprise. There's a little bit of a backstory, so I'm gonna kinda tell you where we're at with it. Uh, I also have some notes on my phone because it's a lot. <laughs> Back in like late June, early July, only about a month after we got here, Taylor found a job listing and he, he mentioned it to me and he was like, I think I wanna apply to this. <laughs> and I was like, no way. No, we just moved to Charleston literally a month ago. Like, no, <laughs> you can't do that. You literally just started a new job like three weeks ago. The catch with this job posting was it's, it's a job he's interviewed for before and he was like this close. Like literally, I'm not joking, probably days away from getting an offer on that job the last time he interviewed for it. But if you'll remember in March 2020, COVID started <laughs> and they canceled the position and weren't able to offer it to him. That was when we lived in Charlotte. The job's about an hour from Charlotte. Because they canceled the position, we ended up actually having to move back to Michigan and living with our friend for a year and a half. And that was literally like this, the reason we moved back to Michigan was because they canceled this job before. And he wanted the job before really badly. He liked the company we really loved the Charlotte area and they posted this job again so he's like I want to apply for it like we want to be over there again in my last video I mentioned like Western North Carolina is like where we want to be mid to Western North Carolina um, long term we just see ourselves like near the mountain we love it over there so much and we loved Charlotte a lot but I was just really skeptical because we just moved here and I felt like we had just kind of gotten through this st stage of thinking like we bought our first house in November and sold it six months later so we kind of also were feeling like we didn't really get to see that journey through like we kind of cut it short and I didn't want to have that same feeling of like not regret but like wondering what if with Charleston like it's beautiful here we like it here but the dream location guys <laughs> like we could live there he ended up applying because we we're like you know what's the worst that can happen like 
maybe you don't even get an interview and if you do you can always just say you don't want the job um, if they offer it to you so he did the interview about he heard back from the interview like three-ish weeks later did the interview and then you guys we had been waiting for 35 days to hear back after his interview it was like the most excruciating wait I've ever experienced it was pain it was like literally painful like we didn't really hear from them at all like there weren't really any updates and we didn't even know if there was going to be a second interview we knew nothing but last Friday <laughs> Thursday night, last Thursday night, I couldn't sleep at all. Like I, it was four days, we were supposed to hear from them last Monday. We hadn't heard anything from them and it was Thursday night and I was like sick to my stomach. Like, okay, they probably are waiting, they probably offered it to somebody else and they're waiting on hearing back from them and it's like pushing it out further. And so I literally sat in bed, like laid in bed at, from 5 a.m. I got up and I was researching like how to reach out again without irritating them and like just ask for the information, you know? I got to the point where I literally typed out an email for Taylor to send and he woke up and I was like, All right, it's time. It's been five days since they said they were going to get back to you again and it's been two weeks since you've been in contact, like you're reaching out to them today. I said, send this at 10 a.m. <laughs> Like, give them time to get in the office and, like, chill. Send this at, send this at 10 a.m. Well, I got a text at 9.30 with just a screenshot of an email saying that he got the job. Literally a half hour before I told him to send the email. <laughs> like, what? How does that work out? I just... It's insane. It's so exciting, but, like, it's frustrating at the same time because I'm like, I could have slept last night. So, yeah, 35 days later, he got the job. That was on Friday last week and we kind of spent last weekend just being tourists in Charleston, like going downtown and he picked up some cigars and he sent some cigars to a friend and he just picked a couple up for himself and we had a little campfire and he smoked a cigar for like to celebrate and we got champagne <laughs> and we actually tried mead for the first time so that was fun. I got a like Charleston t-shirt at like one of the touristy t-shirt shops. We got like a Charleston Christmas ornament. It's super cute. So we, we spent last weekend being tourists in Charleston since now we're only gonna be here a little bit longer. And then we spent this entire last week saving homes and scheduling tours. And we went on four house tours yesterday. We had, I think we had like six or seven scheduled and over the week, like two or three of them got snatched up before we could even tour them. Uh, we toured houses yesterday. We toured four houses. They're all in the same general location. And we made an offer on one. <laughs> it's insane. I, <laughs> you guys probably think we're so freaking insane. <laughs> uh, but you know what? We're doing what we want to do. We made an offer last night. I think she sent it. Our realtor sent it over to them at like 7 p.m. And I was on the phone with my friend this morning, hello Mart, and my realtor called us and I like accidentally hit the client. <laughs> and she texted me and she just said, congrats. And so I like, I was like, sorry, gotta go. <laughs> I hung up on Mart and I called her back and I was like, do we get it? And she's like, yay. And like she's literally screaming. She's like, you got it, congratulations. They accepted your offer. So they didn't even counter. We offered like, quite a bit below asking so I was kind of surprised but it's definitely a fixer upper you guys it's a fixer upper we got a lot of work to do <laughs> but they accepted our offer and I'm just like we've been in like absolute like blissful shock all day I think we're moving to North Carolina again <sighs> we're moving to North Carolina I'm just in absolute disbelief like from January this year thinking like, okay, maybe in the next few years we can move back to North Carolina where we wanna be and like settle down and stay there to six months after that saying, oh, we'll move to Charleston so that at least we can drive to the mountains to like three months after that moving there and like being exactly where, I have, I have goosebumps, like being exactly where we wanna be, like our dream location. We are moving to our dream location. 
to give you an idea of where we'll be, we'll be a little bit east of Asheville, a little bit west of Charlotte. So we're kind of like in the middle area, about an hour from each of those. And then I think we're about an hour from Greenville, South Carolina as well. Taylor's job is in South Carolina, just like over the border. I know that like Western North Carolina and Asheville is kind of like homestead heaven. <laughs> so like if you know of anybody, like or if you're friends with anybody who's like farmers or homesteaders over there, or if you are living in that area or in North Carolina in general or upstate South Carolina, like hit me up, let's be friends. I'm so excited. I feel like there's gonna be a really good community of like-minded people there and I'm so excited. <laughs> this is our actual like dream. We've talked about this so many times for so many years, literally the last six years of dating, six and a half years of dating, like we've talked about moving to North Carolina. I've wanted to live in North Carolina my whole life and we're buying a house there. 26, man. 26 is gonna be, I thought 25 was gonna be my, my most interesting year so far. 26 is passing it by far. Camper life is very tight. We're in 250 square feet, less than 250 square feet. And we're stationary, so we're not like getting to see fun things and travel all around the country. We don't really love it but I'm so thankful we are doing this because it put us in the perfect position to not have to break a lease or be in any sort of contract. We can literally move as soon as we close or as soon as his new job starts. This might be a part where I lose some of you, <laughs> but I wanna get into kind of this 35 days that we were sitting here waiting to hear back from them on this job and just not knowing basically like our fate at all like what was going to happen with our lives like didn't know if we should be looking at houses in Charleston or if we should be in North Carolina at houses just kind of basically being little couch potatoes because we were so stressed out waiting <laughs> I feel like I had so many like blatant signs from the universe that like this is happening so I'm gonna gonna walk you through them this isn't your thing I understand I just like I try to be really observant about this kind of stuff and I've these are just things that I noticed the first one was right after he applied to that job, I kind of ran out of homesteading videos. <laughs> like I watch homesteading YouTube, farming YouTube videos a lot, gardening, all that kind of stuff. I kind of ran out of videos to watch. I like have already rewatched all of Roots and Refuge videos, all of Sunshine Farm, all my favorite channels. I've rewatched their videos all like at least once at this point. So I was like looking for new accounts to watch. I landed on I haven't watched any of the Holler Homesteads videos and I started watching them like the week he did his interview or like the week after he did his interview and I realized that they kind of have like a really similar story to ours like living in the camper and like kind of trying to figure out where they want to be. Obviously their story is a bit different but there's a lot of similarities. They're living in their camper and they settled in I think the same general area we're going to be in. Yeah, so maybe they'll be our friends. <laughs> ben and Meg, hit me up. <laughs> oh, I feel ridiculous. Um, so that was like the first thing, like I like finding out that they like traveled around in their camper and then they ended up settling down exactly where we were going to be, like around Asheville somewhere, like Western North Carolina. Maybe it could be a sign. When we were supposed to hear back from his job the first time, we started watching Outlander and we got to the point where all of the seasons up to this were like took place in Scotland and like the week of his interview when we were like okay we might be moving to North Carolina the season started taking place in the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina and I was like that's freaking weird. <laughs> That same week also, my favorite podcast, literally like one of the only podcasts I listen to every single week, they do podcasts, episodes, like stories from all over the world and like their story was from somewhere in the Blue Ridge Mountains in North Carolina that week. Lastly, the sign before we knew was two weeks ago, two weekends ago, we found a house here that we really liked and we were like, we should just tour it just in case we don't get he doesn't get the job. We should go tour it because it might be worth it and like it has two acres and like nothing else here has more than like a half acre that we can afford really. 
and it, it was a really nice house and it had fruit trees and stuff so we were like let's go tour it and also it was on calico street so i was like we gotta go see it so we go to tour it and it's like an open house we're the only people at the open house and the realtor she's talking to us and just you know like being friendly and chatting when we were done looking at it and she goes she happens to say hey if you ever need a realtor over by like the spartanburg like upstate south carolina charlotte area let me know like i know you're looking here but i also work over there because i'm from there my family's there so if you ever want to go look at houses over there for any reason um like i'm your girl and we hadn't said anything about the job we were literally looking at a house that she was the seller's agent <laughs> we were touring it at that moment like in charleston and she just happened to like, mention that and we were like actually we're actually waiting on hearing back from a job we should hear back next week we get the job up there can you be our realtor and she goes yeah sure let me know ahead of time and i'll i'll uh, go hang out with my family and show you guys houses and yeah so she's our realtor and it happened to work out that we met her at an open house here in charleston on calico street that only house we actually liked here too so it was kind of crazy and lastly this is kind of like an after the fact thing because we already had made the offer on the house last night but we got back and there was a luna moth on our door right over there and they're like you know like this big and they're meant to mean new beginnings which is really cool i've seen four or five my in my life and i've only ever seen them weeks before we move the first time i saw one was a few weeks before we moved to charlotte in 2019. in the next video i'm going to show you guys sort of like snippets of all the houses we toured we toured four like i said i'm only going to show pictures of three because we didn't like the, the other one <laughs> It was really bad. In the next video, I'll show you pictures of those and I'll kind of explain like what we loved and hated about them and maybe tell you which one. Maybe. We'll see. I don't want to jinx it. There's like mountain views like all over the place there. Like you can see the mountains. <laughs> I'm so excited. There's like a really good farmer's market there. We can go hiking whenever we want. Basically to wrap up, we're excited. We're really sick of moving and we're really excited to settle down somewhere, plant some roots in like a place that we've always wanted to be in, make some friends hopefully. Like I said, hit me up if you're around that area. If you don't know anybody in North Carolina other than a couple people in Charlotte. So we are open to making some friends and hanging out, especially if you're gardening or homesteading friends. As always, I appreciate you watching. Make sure you like or dislike it if you don't like it subscribe leave a comment if you want more consistent daily updates i usually post on instagram almost every day i guess yeah like let me know if you want to see like an empty house tour once we get a property tour a before we renovate it <laughs> tour i'm gonna have a lot of content to share with you because it's a fixer upper guys major major fixer upper comment and let me know what you'd like to see with that lastly i wanted to share I have my sweatshirt out here we have merch it's linked below and we actually have colorful logos now. They're t-shirts, they're sweatshirts, there's all different kinds, but look at how cute. Grab a t-shirt or two and the merch link is below. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it. I appreciate everyone who's been so excited with us. We need all the support we can get. This is just so exciting and it's been a long time coming. So, so yeah, thank you for watching. I will see you next time, bye.